Today we're going to add an indicator to show where our bricks will lock into place. I'm going to go to my layers and I'm going to unlock my pieces layer. Then on projects, I'm going to duplicate my block by doing clone. I'm going to name this the drop block. And I'm going to put a copy of the drop block on the layout. Then we're going to edit the image and replace all of the pictures with a transparent version of the same thing. So I have the new style here, and I have the old style here, if anyone kept those. So we're going to switch each one of these out with its corresponding transparent version. The origin points and the collision polygons can stay the same. Once we have our block added in, everything else will be in the code. So let's switch over to event sheet one. I'm going to add a new group. I'm going to call that drop block. And then we're going to have a blank sub event in our drop block group. And what we want to do is we want to start our drop block at the same location as our block. So drop block. Set X is going to be the same as blocks X. And then our drop blocks set Y is going to be the same as our blocks Y. We need to make sure it's the same color, so drop block set frame to block dot animation frame. And we want to make sure it's rotated in the same orientation, so drop block set angle is going to be block dot angle. Then let's add a sub event also in the drop block group. Let's do a system while loop. What we want to do is we want to drop the block one square at a time until it comes to a collision with the board or a board block. So let's add another condition. Drop block is overlapping at offset with the board. Y offset is block size. We will copy and paste that guy. And we're also going to check for board blocks in the same place, zero block size. And we want to invert those. So while we're not overlapping the board and while we're not overlapping the board blocks, we want to continue moving our drop block down. Drop block, set y, self.y, plus block size. Then we'll add a blank sub event to the bottom where we set our group active drop block to deactivated. So we only want to run this one time so that this loop is not constantly running all the time. So we'll just set this active every time something changes that would change the location of our drop block. So we'll set this active every time something changes that would modify our drop block's orientation or position. First time we'll need to do this is when we create a new block. So we're going to create a new block when there are zero blocks. So let's add a blank sub event at the bottom. Copy my set drop block deactivated. I'm going to paste that here. And change it from deactivated to activated. Then I'm going to recopy this action to paste it later. Inside of controls, we are going to need to activate our drop block when we move left, when we move right. We do not need to when we move down. We will need to on our rotation. I'm going to add an else block for instead of rotating back, we will add our drop block in instead. So in our rotation, if we can move, we test to see if we can rotate it. If the rotation is not okay, then we rotate it back. So if we don't rotate it back, that's when we would need to update our drop block. So let's do the same thing on our Z press. Add an else, paste in our action. Since our controls for space do not spawn a new block, we do not need to add it here. 
we will need to place it whenever we do a swap. So our swap happens here, then we test it, and if it tests to be okay, then we check for adjustments needed to the yellow block. So let's add in a blank sub-event so that our drop block happens after any adjustments are made to our block. Let's test that to see how it works. So we have our green block. It appears to be showing up in the correct location. When we rotate it, that seems to work okay. Another block seems to show that it would stop on top of our block that's already been placed. It updates okay when it rotates. So when it rotates and that seems to be overlapping a block, it will put it in the correct location. So everything looks okay now. So next time we will add in the ability for our game to have an end.